hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this cool looking text reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and if you like this video then don't forget to hit that like button also so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always we are in after effects i'll create a new composition i'll call it as main animation as a width is 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 duration is 30 seconds long and background color is black color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection not proportional grid then go to the character menu and over here for the font i'm going to choose poppins bold version of this font and the color is white color then we will select our text and we will type our text i am going to type bound and make sure all the letters should be in a cap then select this text layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now let's select this text and hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's select this text and i am going to type l for somewhere around like this and after that i am going to type l e s double s okay now let's select this text press v for selection tool and by holding shift i'm gonna move this text after this bound like this okay now we will hide this one for now and we will select this text we will go to the animate menu and we will choose pos position then let's bring this down go to the range selector let's create one keyframe at the start zoom in a little bit go to around 1.10 frames and let's make this value 100 like this then select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this anchor point over here and this over here not anchor point but handle so we will get this kind of text animation and if you want then you can change the duration of this one like right now i'm going to make it to one second only then go to the add menu again go to the properties and let's choose blur and i'm going to increase the blurriness go to the add menu property insert your tracking and tracking amount let's choose minus somewhere around like this so you'll get this kind of animation also go to the properties and choose opacity also and opacity let's decrease it so we'll get this kind of text animation now after that hit u uh, so i'll minimize this now we will enable this layer and i'm going to move this over here with the help of open bracket and now i'm going to select this first layer and i'll make it apparent with this bound now we will select this layer we will go to the effect and presets panel and over here type type only so we will get this effect called typewriter so all you need to do is to simply click on it and now hit use so you will get these keyframes and select this keyframe and move to 1.10 frames like this okay now uh, as you guys know that this layer is parent with this bound text layer so select this bound text layer press p for position let's create one keyframe and go to this keyframe and now we will move this over here unless we will get that less thing at the center like this okay somewhere around like this so if i see this now i'll get this kind of stuff now select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift i'm gonna move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i see this animation now i'll get this then this okay now i'm gonna select those keyframes and i'll move this to two seconds let's go over here i'll select this and i'll trim this layer up to here okay now right click new and create one null object at this point i'll select this bound text layer and i'll make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s create one keyframe go over here and we will increase the size of it somewhere around like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph 
hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so if i see this animation now first this then this and then we will get this okay let's select those keyframe again hit f9 again and select this and we will stretch this a little bit extra like this and make sure to select all of them and enable this blurriness option like this now at this point i am going to select those keyframe again i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance time reverse layers like this okay let's go over here now select both the text layers press t for opacity let's create one keyframe go over here and let's make this zero and select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this or uh, you can simply let's bring this a little bit like this and let's select all these keyframes and we will decrease the distance between this so it will animate a little bit faster so if i see this animation now first this then this and then this okay now uh, as you guys know that we have this bound text over here so i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring this at the top i'll hit u and first of all uh, i'm going to de in de delete this uh, position and opacity properties of this text hit u let's select this text and change the color so we can uh, easily get that this is the different from this text and also we will delete this uh, parenting so we will get this text over animation over here now i want this thing should be start to animate from here like this and hit u and over here we are going to increase the text also we are going to type our full text which is boundless like this it should start from here let's say now uh, i'll go to the animate over here and over here as you guys can see it's plus 95 i'm gonna make it minus 95 so what's gonna happen that it will start to animate from the top okay so select this and hit ctrl d and let's move this a little bit over here and we will select this first text and over here i'm going to choose black color and along with that i'm going to add one stroke also and for the stroke pixel so i'm going to choose two so i'll get this kind of stuff first like this and let's select this and let's uh, move this over here so we'll get something like this i'm gonna select this i'll move this over here okay so we'll get this kind of stuff and you can uh, decrease the opacity if you want like this and then you can select this text you can hit ctrl d and you can bring totally at the bottom and go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically or bring this properly at the center press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this okay now i'm going to select this i'll select my rectangle tool and i'll create one mask like this and go to the mask options and let's increase the feathers like this let's say 20 uh, select this press p for position let's bring this over here select this hit ctrl d press m and make this inverted press p and let's bring this downwards like this okay select both the text press t for opacity and we will decrease the opacity uh, let's say up to 20 percent like this hit u so now if i see this animation i'll get this and then we will get this it will take a little bit time to load because we have enabled our motion blur like this now after that select all of them uh, or instead of that simply create one null object and select all the layers except those layers which are parent with someone let's did select that and we will make it apparent with this null object select this null object press p alt click on the stopwatch and apply wiggle expression and type 3 comma 3 so along with this animation we will get a little bit of what we call wiggly effect over here 
like this so this is how you can create this kind of text animation and hit n so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned